Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial on the C programming language. So today we're going to do some recursion. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I'm going to do is write a description for our program. So uh, this, the description will tell us what our program will do or is created for. So this program uses recursion to return the product of the digits um, of its integer input parameter. Okay, and I will show you guys what I mean. So we're going to say usage here. So let's say the user inputs um, the value 274. What we want our output or our program to do, we want it to return the product of those three integer values. So 2 times 7 times 4, which is equal to 56. So we want it to return an integer value 56. And we're going to make some assumptions here. We're going to assume that um, the, the input is non-negative. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is include our library. And our library is going to be stdio.h. All right, now we're going to create our main function and then give a return value. And now let's create our recursive function. And it's, it's going to return an integer, and we're going to call it product digits. And it's going to take in an integer value, we'll just call it n. Now, let's just copy that and paste it here. Okay, so first thing we need is a base case. So our base case is if we just return one value, uh, I'm sorry, if the user just inputs one value, like the value 4, then we just want to return 4. Or if they just put 7, just return 7. 9, just return 9. Um, if it's the value 10, then we want to return 1 times 0. All right, so the base case will return whatever n is if n is less than 10. So again, if n is less than 10, then we just want to return 10. All right, so now we need our recursive case. All right, so one thing we want to want to do when doing recursion is we want to be able to at least reach our base case and we can do that by I'm just going to copy this here we, we want to reach our base case we can do that by dividing n by 10 or maybe um, oops sorry I pressed the wrong uh, button there um, so anyways we could divide n by 10 or we could do n minus 10 you know something like that or n minus 1 Basically, we want to keep getting I said one, um, not two, or we could have did two as well. We just basically want to keep going lower until n can be less than 10. So, and then we want to return, oh, not 10, but n. So, I messed up on that base case there. We do not want to return 10. We want to return n here. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going to the next digit since... Um, this is just the ones place here in our example, 274. This is the ones place, the sevens in the tens place, and the twos in the hundreds place. That means I just want to keep dividing by 10 each time to get these numbers, right? So if I do 274 divided by 10, I get 27.4. But because this is, this is integer division, we're just going to return uh, 27. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to multiply that by... Um, this first value here. So again, if we put 274, I just want that uh, that two, that four. That's all I want. I want to get that four value out of it. So to do that, we just simply do um, in mod 10. So we get the remainder of our n value. All right. So let's take a look here. So if I did um, If I did 274 mod uh, 
mod 10, then this is equal to just 4. All right. And because of our n divided by 10 here, the next number will be uh, 274 divided by 10, which is uh, 27.4. But because it's integer division, again, it's just going to round down. So it's 27. It gets rid of that um, decimal place. And so then we go back again, and we get 27 uh, mod 10. And so this just gives us a remainder of 7. And then we do 27 um, divided by 10, which is equal to 2.7. But because of integer division, it's just going to be 2. Because here in, C, in the C language, um, it rounds down. Okay. And then next we get 2. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we get 2, right? So this is our base case. We reach our base case here because I won't put base case because 2 is less than 10. So um, we just get our 2 here. So we just return 2. All right. And so that's the way we're going to be multiplying these out 4 times 7 uh, times 2. All right, so let's uh, give this a whirl and see what we get here. I'm going to go to our main function and let's create a value. We'll call it uh, user input. And we'll do a scanf percent d and here we will get the user input and then we're going to place that input inside of our function all right just like that and we will store this in a value. We'll call it uh, output. And then we will print the output. So the output will be an integer value. So we're going to do percent %d. And it's called output. All right, and let's see here. Uh, maybe I do a new line. And let's actually ask the user to, let's, let's ask the user for input. Yeah. So here, yeah, we're just gonna ask the user for some, some input. Alrighty, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and give it a, a run. Uh, save it as a .c program, as untitled. All right, so input. Let's try 274, 274, and we get 56, just like we expected. Um, let's try 10, so that's one times zero. We get zero. Uh, let's try 101. So 101, still 0, because 1 times 0 times 1. And let's try uh, 111. So we just get 1. So you guys can see that this is working here. And that's basically it. Um, I'll be sure to have this code in the description below for you guys to get off my GitHub. Uh, please let me know if you see any problems here. Uh, ask any questions. I try my best to answer them. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Please leave likes, comments, everything, guys. Uh, it's really greatly appreciated. And again, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.